want a beverage? Yes. <laughs> Wait, did you say Red Bull? A beverage. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we landed in San Diego. Martina just hit the restroom, hit the baggage claim and grabbed her bag, which is 15 pounds overweight, by the way, 65 pounds. Then we'll go to find the shuttle. There's a shuttle for the rental car. So we just gotta get to that. And then we'll go to the hotel and see if they've got uh, our early check-in ready. If not, we'll have to find something to occupy us until they've got the room ready. So that'll be fun. So let's do it. Take exit 16 to the ride on two. In half a mile, take. Our navigation in our rental car is really loud and it doesn't look like we can turn her off. We're here in San Diego. Here's my bub. It was overcast, but now it's a little bit more sunny and we are driving to our hotel. Unfortunately, they do not have a room for us yet. We're gonna drop off our bags there and we're gonna still check in and then they'll just call us as soon as they have a room. Woo, still trying to figure out how to navigate this area. We got up hella early this morning, so we are ready to eat. We're ready to chillax and get on with this freaking vacation. But look at these views, y'all. Oh, it's so beautiful. Downtown is so pretty. There's green, there's so many trees. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited and we booked some attractions and some museums and stuff while we were on the plane. And yeah, now we're gonna probably, yeah, we're gonna check in and then we're gonna look for somewhere to eat and we'll take you along there. This is so exciting, I'm so excited. Hi, you guys. Welcome to the Pendry San Diego. This is our room. I believe this is a standard room here at the Pendry San Diego. It is a fabulous room, incredibly clean. I am loving it. So let's start over here. So this is the closet. Tons of space here. You have enough space to put all of our luggage and then our film equipment and then my backpack. And there's of course a safe here and a ton, like more so than I've seen before, hangers. I do really love the two floor length mirrors as well. So this is the bathroom. So there are sliding doors, which are great space savers. So you have this sink, you have some really, really nice toiletries and then really pretty lighting, beautiful wallpaper. And then the water closet is separate. 
with its own separate door, which I actually really, really like. This is an enormous shower. And I feel like I don't even have to show you the inside because you can actually just see it right here. It does have two heads. It looks like it has some kind of like a rain fall shower head and then the primary shower head up there up against the wall, which is really cool. The shower is really clean. This glass is really clean. When my husband showers, I get to control whether or not I see him because this is on the outside. So I can do a little peeky poo every once in a while. Incredibly bright room. So we'll look at the bed next. You have really nice looking lamps. I kind of want these. This is the chaise lounge and then it comes with like a stool of some kind and you can see the wonderful Pendry view. Oh, there's a place called Bob's. Flip around here, we've got a really lengthy office desk. And then you also, of course, have your standard TV bar area. So this is all weighted. Um, so if you do pick it up, it does charge you, but these are some really nice selections. Tequila and water and what is this, bourbon? Yes. These are like really nice glasses, like wine glasses and bourbon glasses that you can use for your drinks here. A mini fridge with an extended mini bar, so to speak. So that's pretty much it. Incredibly clean, totally immaculate. Carpet looks wonderful, really, really well done. Really, really impressed with this room. Yeah, Pendry the way to go. Hi you guys! Okay, so we just woke up from a very much needed nap since we woke up so early this morning. I think it was like five o'clock. Yeah, we woke up at um, five. Yeah. Super early and we were just go, go, go until, until now. Um, so after we checked in, we were gonna head out, but then we, you know, just decided to really recharge, which we really needed that. So got ready and now we're about to head back out. We're probably gonna go see the beach. Um, Seaport Village is- Beach, is, beach, uh, let's go get away. Is pretty high on the list uh, for recommendations uh, yes. in this area. So we're gonna go check it out, hopefully get some seafood. You know, we're right by the ocean, so we wanna yes. take advantage of that and get some food. Absolutely, would love some seafood. Yes, absolutely. And check out the beach and just like the day and you know, it's our first day here. So we're just kind of taking it easy. We don't have any strict plan but we do have lots of tickets to museums and stuff and other attractions that we will definitely utilize throughout the next several days. But yeah, excited to just walk around and kind of take it easy and just see what there is going on out there, especially because it's a Friday. So it's going to be super fun. Yeah, that'll yeah. be really good. So yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. All right, you guys, we are here at Seaport Village. This is an area of downtown San Diego that's just full of a bunch of shops and restaurants. And it's literally called like a shopping mall on Google, but it's all outside and it's like huge. It's like a whole little community. So we're gonna check it out, look for some seafood. We haven't really made any reservations right now, but I'm not too worried. Hopefully it's not a problem, but that's kind of what we're on the hunt for. We're both getting pretty hungry. So we're gonna do that and then hopefully just walk around a little bit more and explore this area. Like it looks really nice, lots of people around. There's like a game going, I guess, at Petco Park. So it's just thriving and I'm very excited and we're pumped because we got our nap in. So we have all this energy to burn. So it's gonna be a good time. Let's do it. Is that you? My God, man. I was like, who the hell would do that to a to like whoever they're doing it to like whoever they're doing it to? Yep. Look at that pup with the. My God. Seaport 
Village, San Diego, California. Wow, it has really exceeded our expectation. We have not done much here. We met a guy who was selling some like coffee flavored liquor and he was like kind of a charismatic like booth salesman who like called out to us and you know beckoned for us to come over and try some free samples of this coffee flavored liqueur. It's like 25%, you know, it was really good. So we bought a bottle uh, to take home with us because we love having uh, different alcohol, you know, like liquor for, for guests to try, especially ones that have like flavors or something that's novel. So we bought that and we'll, we'll take that home with us. Martina's bag is overweight anyway, so it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Martina is looking to find some food, checking out the reviews for these restaurants on Google and Yelp so we can, you know, find something that looks good and get some delicious seafood. We really want to grab a spot outside so that we can enjoy the last few hours of sunlight uh, because it's still really warm out here and get some fish. Hopefully some delicious fried fish. That's next. along the pier and this like boardwalk over here at Seaport Village for quite some time. Got some great footage, watched some boats, like it's just magical, all magical. And we were definitely hungry and we did walk for quite some time through a few shops even. I looked up some places. Surprisingly, there were not as many dine-in, sit-down, like a little bit less on the casual side places around here than we expected. So we stopped here and we found Sally's Fish House and Bar. This restaurant and like concept of how you order is really, really interesting. So you basically walk inside and there's a bar and bartenders and you get in line and you actually order your food and your drinks with the bartender first and you do have the ability to provide them with a tip because you will get served later but you order everything and like pay immediately and everything is done like the transaction is closed at that point and then they give you a number and you find your own seat when you're like done eating and you really want to leave and you're waiting for your check or whatever reason i don't know i just think it's really convenient we came out here we got a spot and it is outside but even better it's right by the water and you see all these boats parked and then beyond that you see like the ocean and it's just amazing. The food itself is phenomenal and the drinks are really, really great too. Joey got a Moscow Mule. I got a blue and blackberry mojito, which is really good. And then we got a crab cake appetizer, which was excellent. And the lobster roll, the first thing on their menu, the probably best seller, I would assume, absolutely incredible. And that also comes with some house fries. Really, really, really good food. I don't know what we're gonna do after this. Maybe look for some dessert. We don't know, but we will take you along. But for now, we're gonna enjoy this view and enjoy this food. We are at the Embarcadero State Marina. This is near Seaport Village. It's just kind of like a peninsula that shoots off of uh, Seaport Village. We just had some delicious food at Sally's, but the view out here is fantastic. Beautiful ocean, beautiful sunset. It's not super colorful, but just seeing the, the light hit off the waves here looks really great. This looks like an awesome place. A lot of people take their dogs, they go running. Maybe we can get some dessert, uh, but then we'll be close to the hotel and that will make it a lot easier if we want to retire for the night. That's what we'll We'll do next so let's do it
you guys. I just had the most amazing dessert. So let me backtrack a little bit. After our dinner, we walked up and down the boardwalk a little bit more. We got some great footage, looked at the water more, watched the sunset. It was amazing. And we were wanting to kick our, what's the right term? I don't really know, sweet tooth. So we were kind of not really on the hunt for like a dessert place. We were just kind of walking around at Seaport Village. We noticed a little bit more inland, this area that was not that jiving, like super busy earlier has now like come to life. There's like a merry-go-round that's now running with like beautiful lights everywhere. The trees are lit up. A lot of the restaurants and shops and stuff are still open because it's not super late. So then we saw this place right here behind me, the Seaport Fudge Factory. It's like a chili mango, like they had like a stand right outside featuring a product of theirs, which is like a soft serve chili mango like dole whip soft serve of mango flavor and then it has like tahin on top and chamoy i think is how you pronounce it i don't know but it's basically like a combination of salty and sweet and that's what i got i almost finished the entire thing it is divine i am such a big fan of tahin on various fruits so this was just like a different way to have that essentially and it was really really good and joey had an ice cream sandwich he loves ice cream sandwiches but that was really good too I am gonna try to not finish this because I know it's gonna give me a stomach ache, but it's so good. We'll probably turn in and have a really early and really long day tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go throw this away because I, it's, it's tempting me, I can't. Hello, I belong on this cow bench. This is the cutest bench. I want to take this home with us. Pretty cow. That is a cow, right? So cute. It's cute. It does have some horns. It's cute though. I like it. I want it in our home. 